So it's about three or four days ago. Today is Saturday and it was sometime during last week. I think Tuesday of last week, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So four days ago that I filmed the smoke rising from here from the job that I work at over there on that mountain. And from over there, what you could see was these green rooftops, which is how I identified approximately where I would find this. Now this is fish and game right here. There's the uh, boat wake, slow, five mile per hour. This is like their storage yard. So you could say, well, this is a burn pit where they gather up all the firewood and throw it in here. That may be true, but this is still plasma fire and I can still smell it. And I came over here the day of the fire. What I'm showing you here is the end of this is burnt, not this. The end of this is burnt, not this. And I couldn't find the place, so I came back. Now it's four days later. This is all plasma fire burn signature wood. Highly burned, unburned. I don't need to point this out too much anymore, but highly burned, unburned, and the spotty pattern where electricity breaks through the surface and creates small burn spots. Each one of these limbs burnt on the end, unburnt up here. All of them the same. You see how the end is burnt? The tip. Let's see if we can get a little better lighting. Just the tip of it, the circular pattern on the end, and then nothing here. Same thing here. Burned here, not here. Burned a big old groove in it here. Completely unburned here. All of this has the plasma fire burn signatures all over it. So, is this a fishing game burn pit? Sure looks like it. Or maybe they round up all the plasma fire wood and throw it in one spot so people can go enjoy themselves at the lake. So I'll find a couple more burn signatures just to show you that uh, that indeed when that sprang up, one thing I noticed and I asked my uh, my foreman if he noticed the fire, he said yeah, and it just burned in that one little spot. But one thing I was pointing out, highly burned here, unburned there and there, is that the smoke would surge, a big surge of smoke would come up followed by a lull, followed by a surge, followed by a lull. Now that's a massive pile of ash in there. So maybe this is a fish and game burn pit. Nonetheless, it was indeed plasma fire that I recorded that sprang up right across it. Here's a good example. Unburned. Highly burned, right down the middle. And it kind of hollowed it out, and it's unburned on this side. Seems like the sun and the glare isn't working too well. Here's another example. People that know what I've been talking about don't need me to point too much more of this out. Inside the log is where it's burned. I think I already covered these, but I can't even see through the screen. There's so much glare. Circular burn pattern on the end. Circular burn pattern on the end. Unburned here, unburned here. All of this has the plasma fire burn signatures. Burned it to a thin wedge on the end starting at a, as a full circular branch. I have three or four of these connected together at home 
where they burn into the shape of something like a reed that grows out of water. Thin at the end. Mine get thin as a fingernail right at the end, but it started out as a fully round branch. So I'm glad I ended up coming over here and I was considering whether or not I was even gonna upload the video because I end up ranting and raving and bitching about the fact that I'm still the only one that knows about this. But that's all right, now that I've found this, I kinda gotta upload that video and I think I'm gonna initiate some of my coworkers. And they too will be Illuminati, but there's a good chance they too will not give a shit like the general public. So, anyway, that's fishing game building. This is like their excess where they keep their equipment. This appears to be their burn pit. That doesn't appear to be, that is with certainty, plasma fire. So, now that I got the evidence and the proof that that fire whoop, it popped up, sprang right out of the ground, because I asked my boss, I said, did you see that fire? He noticed that it kept burning in one little spot. The wind, the wind was moving. Here's some more examples. Man, I can't hardly see crap. Burnt on the end, not burnt here. Burnt on the end, not burnt here. So maybe they run around and they grab all the burns, the wood that has plasma fire burn signatures on it, throw it over here, that way people can enjoy their weekend. And while you are all having the time of your lives, well think twice, that's my only advice. I remember when I remember, I remember when I lost my mind. So I'm conflicted about whether or not to say anything. I've been working with these guys six or eight months. Now this is kind of unique. See the unburned piece going right up the middle? That one is pretty unique. That might even be a keeper because that's so bizarre looking. But the end of it, the end of that, that part that's unburned is still got the circular burn on the end here but not going up the middle. Pretty weird looking, huh? So I'm conflicted about telling them and I'm conflicted about not telling them because I don't want to derail their world, but their world's going to be derailed whether or not I show them and tell them now, this is going to affect everyone. But by telling them now, maybe they won't freeze up. Fight, flight, or freeze. And this is the kind of stuff I can't explain to someone last minute when we need to be on the same page in order to be able to cooperate and communicate. And so for me to have withheld this from the people I work with for what, six, eight months? Another reason I did that is because I asked one of the guys who apparently he talks with my stepdad enough that he knows I'm born in California or born in Japan. And I ask him, so Doug told you I was born in Japan. What else did he tell you? And he kind of skirted the question. He's like, oh, well, me and Doug, we've been working a long time together, blah, blah, blah. Look, we talk about everything. So all of these have this same burn signature on them. And then a little, little while later at another time, I ask him, so did Doug tell you anything about my woodworking projects? Because I'd mentioned it. By the way, all these, all each one of these sticks has the burnt end on it where it disconnected from the tree. And so I asked him, did Doug mention anything about my woodworking projects to you? He said, no. Maybe Doug did and just said, don't say nothing, but I think there's a good chance Doug hasn't said anything, even though I've been doing this four years and he's been working at this company for five years. Because this is Doug's little refuge, his little sanctuary where he can go to get away from it not have to talk about anything like that or think about anything like that and I don't want to take that from him but I have to weigh some things and 
prioritize and allowing him to keep his little sanctuary where we can pretend this isn't happening and just go to work and not talk about any of that is less important at this point when these fires are springing up than to allow people to understand what it is they're facing so they don't freeze up. Okay, so hopefully we got enough footage here to show you guys that, yeah, while I was at work and a fire popped up across the street and I was ranting and raving, twas plasma fire. So it looks like I'm gonna have to initiate some guys at work. The fact that I've withheld this long, six, eight months I've been working here, ain't said a word to any of them about it. I'm a little conflicted. And if I'm gonna have regrets, regret telling them because they're like, and they fucking react however they react. They wanna shoot the messenger rather than accept, acknowledge, and deal with the facts. So if I have regrets about telling them, or regrets about not telling them, I'd rather have regrets about telling them and err on the side of disclosure. Everything here has the plasma fire burn signatures on it. That's the only one that hasn't so far, and that one. That's what a branch looks like when it's cut, not burned off the tree. What happens is it works like a fuse. When the electricity gets too much for the diameter of the fuse, it breaks apart. The bigger diameter, the more amps it can hold. The smaller diameter, the less amps it can hold. And they break away from the tree, leaving that burned circle on the end where it broke away from the tree. So, looks like I'm gonna have to uh, initiate some guys at work. Oh, another cool thing is we spotted a Yesterday, I'm sitting here working with two guys and I see a cloud that's purple and green, neon, fluorescent, purple and green. The northern lights, the solar plasma, those types of clouds are only supposed to be seen in the Arctic Circle where there's no magnetic field. Anyway, I see it and I point up and I tell the two guys I'm working with, look, that cloud's green and purple. And they both look at me hesitantly, unwilling to look up because earlier, earlier that very day, the compaction test engineer came along and he says, what the hell is that? And he looks at us and waits for us to look and we're both hesitant and finally we look that direction and he snaps a photo. So essentially it was the boy who cried wolf. Later on that day, I couldn't get them to look up. I had to tell them three times. They're like, what? Clouds? And look at me like I'm stupid. I said, yes, the cloud, you see, green and purple. Still looking at me again, stupid. I said, green and purple, cloud. That's what it took to finally get them to look up and both of them went, oh yeah, I see it. Wow, I never seen that before. A couple minutes later, I say, you know what those colors are from? They both say, I don't know. Solar radiation because our magnetic field is disappearing. Immediately, a guy, Fernando, one of the two guys says, oh yeah, like in the North Pole. I said, exactly, Northern Lights. So I might have to uh, talk to Fernando too. Cause then he said, have you ever seen the green sun? I said, no. He said, right, right at sunset for the last couple of seconds, there's a green sun. And I said, is that all the time? Or sometimes he said, no, only when there is good conditions, atmospheric conditions. I said, I'll have to Google that. But it seems like for him to respond immediately with North Pole, when I explain magnetic field disappearing, solar radiation is the reason you see that colorful cloud. And he immediately responds, oh yeah, I like the North Pole. He might be someone who's potentially able to absorb what this is. This is for the same reason. Magnetic field disappearing. Fluctuations in the magnetic field create a surge of ground current. Comes up through the trees. So from here, I'm just going to walk it back so you can see where the job site was over on that mountain. And look for other plasma fire burn signatures along the way. But essentially, all of us that fight, flight, or freeze, we've all been paralyzed with fear and petrified to the point where collectively we are all in freeze mode. Like when I pointed out that neon purple and green cloud and it was all I could do to get them to even look because they've already been fooled once earlier that day. So we've all been hit with so much propaganda and gaslighting 
that uh, that might be part of the whole process to paralyze the population so they're docile and slow to move. They won't fight or flight. They've already frozen with fear. So that's where we're at. And as soon as I pop up over this hill, I'll show you where I filmed that other video from when I saw the smoke rising and knew immediately what I was looking at. So yeah, I think I'm gonna have to initiate a couple guys that I work with. So, Jordanell Reservoir is where we're at. And, I don't know if you can see them this far away. Right here, there's some heavy equipment. That's where I filmed the video from of the most recent plasma fire when at the time I wasn't positive yet that it was plasma fire, but I am now. So probably bring a couple of my lacquered pieces to work, show them, cause Bud, he saw the smoke and I can tell him, yeah, that was one of them. They saw the colorful cloud. They might be in on the initiation as well. But I bring a couple pieces, take them right over here, maybe right down by the Hebrew airport that's five, 10 minute drive from here. Let them know this is what's happening. So that video was actually filmed from right about here. There's a couple pieces of equipment there. And we were looking straight across here over these trees, over these bushes just to the left of those green roofs. And now you'll be able to get oriented and know that that thing I just filmed in there was the same thing I filmed from right over there, right over there, on Tuesday. So I need to get some people educated and we'll leave it at that on this one.